Or perhaps you can put your maps of England away for the time being. Are you bringing news of Admiral Villeneuve? I am, sir. Monsieur de Villeneuve has judged his squadrons too vulnerable and his sailors too ill-prepared to face Admiral Nelson. He prefers to wait, sir. Hiding behind a rock like a frightened child. Coward. Idiot. Has he realized what he's done? Without his ships, I'm, I'm stranded here like a legless cripple. So perhaps it's best that we're not crossing the channel because the English have also convinced both the Russians and the Austrians to attack us from the east, but while our army is occupied here in the west. A sound strategy, if rather English. The English forget that my strength is speed. In 20 days, I will be in the heart of Germany. Murat, change of plan. Order the bugle to sound the call. We will leave at once, 30 miles a day. Five minute pause every hour. I want drummers at the head and tail, and drumming without a break to fire the men with courage. They won't lack courage if you are with them. I will not be with them. I will be at the opera, at theater, at balls, and on hunting trips. I must put them off the scent. If I'm seen in Paris, the enemy won't imagine that my army is racing to meet them. I know, gentlemen. No one has ever seen 200,000 men with all their equipment accomplish such a feat. That is the key to our victory. It's because it seems impossible that we are going to do it. And that's why from now on, the army will be known as the Grand Army. Once Austria and Russia are crushed, along with Prussia, should she be tempted to join in the game, I will rule Europe, and England can rot in her lair. You're in luck, Fouché. Returning to politics, just as things are going well. Apart from one detail, sir, the state coffers are empty. I shall fill them. Winning the war means making a fortune. Before we can win it, sir, we must declare it. Your army is ready, but there's been no battle. Fine. We will attack. We have avoided suspicion long enough. I'm joining the troops. 